Today we are at an extremely old hotel. Mm -hmm. 17th century, my friend. It's in this very, very, very small town in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> we heard you loud and clear that you want longer content and you want us not to run. We can do that for you. <laughs> we'll try. But honestly, I know that you guys say that you don't want us to run, but I think you need also need to understand that we are two females in the middle of nowhere, usually in abandoned places, in the middle of the night with no defense on us. So yeah. um, we are usually running from the fear of humans, not spirits. So we appreciate obviously what you're saying, but at the end of the day, we're probably just gonna follow our gut instinct. When we, we are in going to try though. We are going to try, yes. When we're in places like this, when in hotels, we'll of course weigh it out for you guys. But when we're in abandoned places, you do need to follow your gut with that kind of stuff. Yeah. And I hope that you guys understand that. So if you like our content, please <laughs> like and subscribe to this channel. <laughs> I'm a bit out of it because I've been on a walking holiday yeah. uh, for the last four days. So I've done quite a lot this today. Mm. And so if I'm not with it entirely, that's why. But yes, please like and subscribe to this channel. We really appreciate all of you and the community that we have here Thank is you. absolutely fabulous. Yes, please comment on this video. Please like the video. Share with any of your friends who also like spooky content. Subscribe fans. <laughs> I can barely move because I'm so freaked out. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> anyway. This. Yes. We appreciate all of you and and we're going to get into the paranormal investigation. So what's the situation with the cannibals in Club Valley? So in 1700s there was a pamphlet about Jonathan Gregg's family who essentially apparently killed and ate a thousand travellers who what? came by the coastline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, in, in Clavelli? Yeah. Here? Yeah. I love how like Ben's just like nonchalant in the background, <laughs> just like just reading his magazine. So, <laughs> so who's John? John Gregg is just a part of the family of people who killed the travellers. How many travellers? Well, a thousand people thousand-ish people went That's missing. a lot of travellers to kill in like, how long was this space of time? I don't know. I need to know more information I about this. I guess the 1700s. I don't know. So essentially, I think the family started to cause crimes to kind of like burgle people, mm -hmm. to pickpocket them, etc. And then it became not enough to just do that because actually there were no witnesses and there was no evidence if they got rid of the bodies. You can save on food expenses if you eat the victims. I'm not saying it's right, but I'm saying this what it says. <laughs> That's insane. It's crazy. Um, That's disgusting. Cutting up and pickling the bodies of those- Pickling? Yeah, pickling. Pickling? Apparently. Pickling. Like putting them in pickle? Like putting them- Fermenting them. That's disgusting. That's really, really gross. Apparently, that's what's going on. Cutting up and picking the bodies of those you've robbed and killed is just an extension of the old waste not, what not idiom. Lord have mercy on my soul. The more you know. The more you know. And I can't say how legit this is. But you know, a myth's a myth, but it's got to come from somewhere. We're going to start the investigation by um, doing a call out. I've just got these two cat balls in my hand. <laughs> in what I would call the lounge area. And we've got this piano next to us here. And then we're just going to do a call out and see if we get anything. This place is pretty creepy. It's actually giving me the. If there's any spirits here with us, can you please make a noise, a bang, a knock, move one of these cat balls? You can tap them, or you could potentially play the piano if you wanted to. Give a little ding. No, it's a bit far-fetched, but I'm really out here trying. 
there's any spirits here or in the surrounding area that would like to come and speak to us, we are here, we are open to any energies coming to speak to us. Could you make a bang or a knock? I feel like that's them doing that bar stuff. Okay, if that was a spirit, could you do it again? Like walking. Yeah, it does. Um, could you make more of a sound that is more obvious to us? Like a knock. A bang? Yeah, me too. Can you do another knock, please? Did you set off on these couples? It's hmm. weird because there was some in down here. You'd hear them walking around out there. They're not going to be, be quiet, are they? They're going to be just be working. That's true. Can you come closer and make noises closer to us? I just saw that go off, but I might be being delusional. What? The cat, cat ball. Yeah, I swear to God it was going off and it just turned off as you... No. ...turned away. No. But I might be going insane and I might be starting to see things because I'm pretty tired. Um, okay, I think if we give the a spirit space, they might be able to get past and then maybe be able to see yeah. the cat ball. It's not like, at least I feel like... It was on. It was dead. It was on. It was literally on. What's that? It was definitely on. That one was on? That. No, that one was on too. No, the reason I know it was on... Because I... It was on. <laughs> I put it down and it was flashing and it wouldn't stop flashing. And I, that's how I know it was on. I came down and saw Tom over there and it was interesting because I thought that I had heard Ben and Tom talking and Tom was in there on his own. What's interesting is I didn't want to say anything earlier because I didn't want you thinking that I was like clutching at straws, kind mm -hmm. of. But when we were in the toilet, I heard someone whisper. I heard someone. <laughs> I heard someone. And there was no one outside. I was like, I've got goosebumps. There was literally no one out there. I heard someone speak in the toilet and then I was like, and it always sounded like it was from within the toilet. Yeah. It didn't sound like it was outside the toilet. Yeah. But there was no one outside anyway, yeah. so it was kind of... It was really low, like really hushed. Yeah. Like yeah. a whisper. Yeah. 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 So it's like kind of weird, because like, if there's toilets upstairs, why would them out? Why would someone come down the stairs to use? Exactly. No one even went into the toilet, because it makes a big fud. But also, the, in, the, in the female toilets, there's literally, there's literally one, there's one cubicle. And we were both in there, and there was no one else in there with us. And that's weird that you heard the same thing. I'm, I'm glad that you said that because I was literally like, and then I was like, no, no, no. no and we really just heard it. A really eerie vibe as soon as we walked in. Yeah, as soon as we walked in, we were like, <laughs> so can we start some kind of communication with you? Like, if someone's here with us, could you, first of all, make a knock? 
or make a noise of some sort. What was that? Was that you, babe? Do you hear that? Yeah, a noise of some sort. What was that? Was that you, babe? Do you hear that? Yeah, in a second. Oh. I thought it was like a. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's all I heard. Yeah, I okay. got It could have been. It sounded like it was coming from near B. I thought it was B. Sorry, B. Maybe it's been the stomach. It was not my stomach. <laughs> not this time. <laughs> okay. Um. This. Maybe the camera picked up. Yeah, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Mm. Not that last time. <laughs> that was my ankle. <laughs> I've been on a walking holiday, if I didn't mention it before. You've mentioned it so many times. Have I? <laughs> uh, in like a year's time, people be like, did I mention that I went on a walking holiday that time? <laughs> so, one time. I'm kind of athletic now, so. <laughs> yeah. Did you oh, guys well. know that I did a half marathon and then I also <laughs> went on a walking holiday? <laughs> kind of athletic. And I got no, the laptop. Oh. Is that because you touched it? I didn't touch it. Of course I didn't touch it. It's just fling my hands around. I wasn't. Wind? Maybe wind. It could be the wind. Wherever the wind's coming We've from. had a lot of voices. That's weird. Yeah. Okay, if you did that, could you please do that again and, and make one of the cat balls go off, please? We would like to summon you to the cat balls. They are these little balls over here. If you touch them, then they will light up. Which is quite nice. Fun thing to play with, especially if you're a cat. Or a child. Or a child. Or an adult spirit. Did you say something? I said you. Yeah. It went. Yeah, great. If you're a child spirit, could you please make one of those couples go off? Could you bang something near us? Or walk closer to us. We really want to communicate with you. But was that you? Mm -hmm. That's good. What was it? No, I don't know what that was. It was either a creak or it was like a... It sounded like that to me. We really want to communicate with you. If you're a child spirit, could you make one of those cat balls go off, please? Could you go close to the cat ball and move it? If you are an adult spirit, could you go close to the cat balls and move them? Okay, that's weird. My heart just fell into my butt. Okay, so you're an adult. Can you put, Thank you. can you turn the other cat ball on, please? Can you touch the other cat ball? Could you make both of the cat balls go off at the same time? The cat balls are these clear balls that we have here. If you could make both of them go off at the same time, we would really appreciate that. We really want to communicate with you. You, the are you the thing making the noises in the room? If you are, can you make the cat ball go off again, please? Are there more than one of you here? If there is, can you make the cat ball go off again, please? Oh, I'm still like reeling from the last, the last capsule scenario. We are going to try different forms of communicating with you this evening. So you have opportunity to come through on different devices. So if you would like to stick around and communicate with us.
scared me. <laughs> that was obviously like a piece of machinery, but we've not had that noise yet. <laughs> Don't know what that was that went off just there. I kind of want to go and see what it was. I'm actually quite scared. I didn't think I was going to be, but I am. Yeah. <laughs> Post war. What? Post war. Post war. I am quite sleepy. <laughs> what? How are you feeling, B? I don't know what that noise was. I don't know what the noise was. No clear sign of what that sound was. Nope, I left them over there. You walk too much. <laughs> okay, guys, so the thing is, I did go for a walk. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I told you about it. <laughs> I bet you that picked it up on the camera as well. Really? It sounded like as clear as day like someone was out there. Really? Yeah, like okay. walking around. But then the thing is with this kind of building, it's so old. Yeah. They're like, it's gonna creak and make weird noises. Yeah. So it's weird to know, it's like difficult to know what's well, just like a natural creak that's happening because it's an old building or, you know, potentially mm. something paranormal. We have Ellie sensory deprived in this scenario. She will be the vessel channeling any communication with the spirit. So Ellie's completely sensory deprived. She has the blindfold on, the blindfold? <laughs> I got the blindfold on. <laughs> yeah. She has the blindfold on and she will have uh, these noise cancelling headphones on. So anything that comes through this device here, which just runs through radio frequencies, um, she is hearing and she isn't hearing anything that I'm saying. She is hearing and she isn't hearing anything that I'm saying. What? Do you guys hear that? What was that? Sound like a ah. Go around the corner. I didn't hear it. Um, okay, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anything that comes through on this device goes through the noise cancelling headphones and Ellie will hear it and will not hear what I'm asking. England. Okay, so is there anyone here? I wouldn't want a lot of money. Blame me. Why? That's quite an English phrase. Is 
there a spirit here with us? I lived in a cottage. Okay. Did you live in a cottage? I like orchestra. Okay. Do you want to tell us some more about yourself? I don't think that was a thing. Okay. More. Okay, so where did you live? Did you live in Clavelli? My heart's pounding. Are you okay? This Sunday. At 4 p.m. I'll give you extra. Okay. Are you talking about a deal that you did? No. Who are you? Who are you? Dead. Okay. So, have you died? No. Hey. Hi. Who Dad. Who am I speaking with? You aren't getting it. Do you not want to speak to me? It's the ending. It gets a little easier. Are you talking, Stop. Are you talking about dying? I'm saving you today. Are you... Were you a good person or a bad person? What's that sound? A squeak. Did you hear a squeak? Uh, no, me. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. No. No, were you a good person or a bad person? I don't think so. Did you do good things or bad things? They said, I don't think so. I said it was in, in the house. What was in the house? I haven't heard from you before. No, we haven't been here before. This is our first time communicating with you. I'm, I need to breathe. Okay. I miss eat, sleep and breathing. Um... It was final. How did you die? My heart. What happened to your heart? It was at, it was at the summer show. What year? What year did you die? Love. Sunshine. Yeah. I'm good, Claire. Is your name Claire? They were guarding outside. Is your name Claire? 
Me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so your name is Claire. You died at the summer show of something to do with your Can heart. you hear me? Yes. We can hear you. Can, can you? Yeah, can you make a sound? Catch me before I go. Where, where are you going? You're what I need. She said, catch me before you go. Oh, did she? Mm. Catch me before you go. You. Can you make a, can you make a sound? Where are you in this room? This is the end game. I'm coming through the radio. It, it's my birthday. Oh my god, I'm getting weird. Has died. It's your birthday. Bodies. How old are you? Oh no. What? I've legit up. up again. I have big chills, man. This is a really intense Esther Smith. No. Are you still with us? Claire, are you still with us? Quiet, boys. Claire? Leave. Why? Maybe she wants to leave or she is leaving or she wants us to leave. Do you want us to leave? I'm down here. Down where? Yeah. Do you know what that said? I walk faster, or you walk faster. Thank you for coming. So, do you want us to go? It's been a while for me. Do people not... You should leave though. Do people not contact you? Not oh. enough people. There's not enough people. Why should we leave? Under. I'm going to run. Why should we leave? Yeah. Okay, so what happened is we were communicating with someone who I believe is called Claire. Mm -hmm. um, and they were basically saying that they died at the summer show from something that happened with their heart. Okay. It also said that we should leave yeah. multiple times. Yeah, yeah, it did, yeah. For me, were things like, I miss breathing, mm -hmm. sleeping, eating. It said yeah. I need to breathe. Yeah. Um, there were lots of different things that came through. Like you were even just like, I feel like there, there probably was a summer show at some point, like it back in history because people probably, like, like you said before, the population dropped significantly. Mm -hmm everything would have to happen here because the only way in and out would be boat or car.
but there's nothing nearby, is there? Apart from this mm. like tiny village, so you'd think they would have like everything here, mm. including a summer show. <laughs> yeah. We've got it's an adult mm -hmm. from the cat on our own. Yeah. Then we've got clearly a spirit who at some point has died mm -hmm. and is missing living. Mm -hmm. Also told us to leave. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they were telling us to leave. Mm. She said, they said, you should leave. But then, like, how I'm visioning it is that they're not really talking to us. Oh, or you should leave, it. like, this Please? conversation. I f yeah. Not you should leave the building. But then it was really interesting because it also... About the building and stuff, and she was like, leave but also it sounded a bit more like she was almost saying that she was leaving yeah rather than yeah, we need to leave um, yeah. she was also saying it doesn't happen much anymore what communication oh okay so they've forgotten not forgotten was it on was it correlating it. with the questions you were asking yeah okay like a lot of questions were being answered okay cool um and yeah ben was even surprised okay Oh. Yeah, it was, it was pretty on it. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I felt like, like I'm down. I felt like I feel like it's a sad energy. Yeah, it made me tear up. Did it? it also, it was their birthday as well. I was getting that massively over there when we were asking when we were doing the call out. I just felt really sad all of a sudden, mm. and I was like, oh god, there's like a really sad energy in her. Mm. Like a really, and I, I'm. Not one to usually talk about how I feel about in places mm -hmm. because I think that could just be how you're feeling mm -hmm. in the moment. Mm -hmm. But this was so random and out of the blue, and I was just like, "Oh, it's sad in here." Yeah. Like I, I'm getting like a real sad. I started energy. welling up. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Because she, well, the, whoever, whatever spirit came through, they were literally talking about how they were missing life, how mm -hmm. they wanted to breathe again. It makes you kind of think like. We need to like live it every day. Yeah. Do the most. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> yeah. If I was in your shoes, I'd be like, it's someone like trying to come to terms with the fact that they are Pat, they dead. Passed they have passed away. Yeah. Passed away. And, and maybe they don't know if they are up or down. Yeah. Maybe they're like in the middle I and they don't know where they're going to go because you know they say like heaven, yeah. hell. Yeah. Up and down, and they kept, and, and maybe they're just here, and they're kind of stuck in limbo. If that was such a situation, it'd be so like complicated. It'd be so much confusing so, like, for the spirit. So much going on. I don't think it'd be like them just sat in the, the room, you know. Yeah. It'd be like a lot going on, like a lot of things going yeah. on. Yeah. And they can probably like just pick out yeah, snippets. And yeah. Maybe it's just a bit of their energy mm -hmm. in the room yeah. before, but maybe they aren't here. Maybe it's just a bit. Left over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so true. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we currently have the ghost tube app on, so that's three. running through. Three. Uh, there are three of us. Are you here? <coughs> I felt like I said I was. No, but I could run. I could run. <coughs> come through on any of our devices so could you come through on yeah if you want yeah, yeah if you want. want yes please yes please we want we would love it if you could come through on one of these set off one of the cat balls make the motion detect come through and make a noise within this room If you touch home. home, I thought you said go home. I said something. Home. I don't know. It's coming home. It is. Football's <laughs> <home. laughs> So. We yeah, have a restriction. It's a little bit of restriction. Is there anything that you would like Engaged. to. Engaged. Engaged. Is there anything that you'd like to say to us? Before... 
It sounded like it said two, two ghost girls. girls. It sounded like it said two ghosts at least. I don't know who we are. Um, do you know who we are? Stop. Somebody is that? Is there anything that you want to say to us before we finish the investigation? You know what? Well, it just said chair, and I was literally, and I was literally just thinking that chair looks really bad. Why from it? And it just said chair. Was that after I said where are you in this room? Yes, and I've got look at my out. Oh, you're goosebumpy. I'm goosebumpy. <laughs> Are you in, are you sat in that chair? Yeah. Yeah, that's how I was here. That was just the yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. Um, if you were in that chair, wait. Can you please walk towards the black box that is on the floor there and it should pick up on your energy and light up. We'd really appreciate it if you could do that so we can get that communication from you. I'm actually. So that I'm actually, so I can actually. Okay. Is there any way that you could make one of conversation? Is customers. It customers. Customers. Yeah, but we are. Yeah, we are technically customers. Have you communicated with people before? Good and indeed. Sounded like a course I did, but... Do you smell like bomb? Yeah. That was fully me. That was actually me. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. fuck. I was like, I literally felt that. Yeah, I was like, I literally no, felt that. It's vibration. Just, it just said vibration. Did it? Yeah. Absolutely. I just said that from. Was that you? That wasn't that. It came from. Like. In there. Right, And you were right. Off. Right. Is there any last words you have to say to us before we say goodbye to you today? Can you say goodbye to us? Can you say goodbye to us? Are we allowed to say goodbye to you? Suspiciously like, right, we're gonna say goodbye now. Thank you so much for speaking to us. You've got one last opportunity to set off any of our devices or say whatever you would like to say before we turn off our devices. Okay, 
was lovely speaking to you. Thank you so much for communicating with us this evening. It's been really nice to speak to you, Claire. We hope that you are able to rest peacefully. Mm -hmm. And we hope that you are able to end up in the place that you would like to be. If you aren't subscribed, please subscribe down below. Yeah. We make a new video every week, 5 p.m. on a Sunday, just at a creek. We put ourselves into scary situations so you can watch. And sometimes it's a bit funny as well, so that's good. Like, comment, give us Give us a little sound. <laughs> well, I don't know what's going on here, but this is great. Subscribe and dance. Two different dances going on. Yeah, I don't know what this is. You're going to meet like... Look, guys, I don't know if I mentioned, um, I've just finished a walking holiday and... Uh, <laughs> I don't think you've stopped mentioning. <laughs> I'm exhausted, so this might be the best we get today. I'll be back next week though, fully You're energetic. Yeah. Is this one there? Can you go check her? Yeah. Oh, am I being sent out to be? That's it from us today. Um, this place is honestly insanely beautiful, so but beautiful. also really old. If you guys are in the UK and you want to visit the, the new inn in Clovelly, oh, and the, it's hospitality, brilliant. Also, a really beautiful place. Yeah. So come and visit if you are ever around. Um, Turns out, it might be haunted too. Just heard another creak. Someone's coming down the stairs. Doesn't it? Yeah. It's like little footsteps. Um, Imagine if we were here right now and all of a sudden we had a doof on the piano. Oh, dear. <laughs> no. Anyway. Um,